Hi again. Here we are uh, continuing the J JavaScript and shopping cart discussion. And you can see this is my example from the last video. And I've got a list of items here. And the items before they all said Apple, so I, I changed the names so they each have a, a name here. And if you click on one, you can see it adds a, you know, one of those items to the cart. So you can see I have four of these and, you know, six of the bananas and, oh wait, seven bananas and eight apples, right? So anyway, so you can see my card is listing everything. We're going to need to do some some work still. So let's talk about a couple things. Um, so first of all, when I load the page, when I load the page here and refresh it, <clears throat> you'll see that card isn't listed. So maybe when we load the page, we want the cart to load initially. Okay? So right here we have... Um, we have this function called display cart. And so it's this function that is writing the cart data into the page as a list. And I'd like to just kind of focus on this right now. So, you know, we have to call on this to get the cart to get displayed, okay? So when I look at the script tag here, you can see the only place that this is called is inside the function for the add to cart click. So whenever you click on one of those links at the top that has add to cart class on it then you know it gets this click function and when we click on one of these you know we get the name and the price and then we add a new item and then we call display cart and so at the time you click then you know you're going to display the cart so if we want to display the cart before that then we'll have to call on this function and we could put the call anywhere in here but it, it kind of matters where we put it because of the way the the script is getting executed okay so, you know, if I put it inside of a function, right, like in this case, then, you know, it, it's only going to happen when that function is executed. So in this case, you know, it's going to happen when we click one of the links with this class name, okay? If I take display cart and I put it somewhere here, like maybe I'll just put it right underneath this function like that, then, you know, I'll... I'll refresh the page here, and I don't see the list of items, right? And maybe it's still working, but or maybe it's not doing anything. Like, what's happening here, right? So let's put a little console log message in here, right? So just so we know when the display, you know, cart function is being called, right? Why don't we just say, you know, uh, put a couple stars in there and say display you know, cart, okay? All right, so, I mean, you know, ask yourself the question, like you're trying to solve your JavaScript problems and you think like, well, you know, um, if I call on display cart, it should display the cart, right? So if I write this here, either this is not happening, something's going wrong in here, right? You know, it could be one of those two things, right? You know, or maybe there's a third problem but you know it's either this is not happening at all or this is not happening in here when we when we do this so let's give it a try let's refresh it here let's get the console to so I'll inspect here any moment now oh there we go right so there's my console we'll switch over to the JavaScript console here and then I'm gonna you know uh, refresh the page right oh look it says display cart and then it lists all the objects here, right? So we must have another console message that's doing this, right? But it said display cart first, right? Hmm, so it is working, but it's not displaying anything, right? Let's do another test. You know, here, when we get the cart, right? When I get the cart array, how many items are in the cart? You know, if there were zero items in the cart, then, you know, there wouldn't be anything to display, right? Or if the cart you know, array had some problem, right? We, we would have a problem. So let's count those items, right? So let's do count cart, put a colon here, and then maybe we'll say plus cart array dot length. And remember, we can use length to get the length of the array. This tells us how many items are in the array. So now we got a couple messages here with the stars, and let's see what happens, right? So I'll refresh here, and it says display cart, and then it says zero items. But then later on, 
it says it shows me this and I'm assuming like this is somewhere we we displayed the cart and this one has one two three four five you know six seven items right so what's what's going on well let's take a closer look here right so when JavaScript is executed a couple things happen okay um, you know if you have a script tag as soon as this script tag loads all of the code here is executed and what happens is the computer reads it one line at a time okay and actually when you define something with the keyword function that kind of get, actually gets defined first okay so you know we could put display cart here or we could even put it above here and it would still you know function in the same way okay because the functions kind of get defined before everything else okay but these lines of code here get this get executed in order okay um, since this is outside a function it just gets executed once when this script is run and code inside the function you know it gets set up but it isn't actually executed until the function is called on okay so this code just waits here this function block is or is waiting until something activates it and then when it activates it all the code here is executed and it's executed one line at a time so the first line happens first and then this line and then this line and then this line right here and then you know it calls display cart and then the computer goes down to here and you know logs a message um, gets the array logs another message you know defines a variable does this for loop where it you know it does everything here goes back up to the top does it again you know for a number of times equal to the items you know the number of items in the array and then it ends and then it does this last line and then it's finished right so so javascript is actually executing the lines of code in in order okay and for this guy you know and everything that's not in a function here that's going to all get executed once when the the script tag loads so what's happening here is you know it's doing all these lines of code and it does this line right now remember our shopping cart doesn't always exist right it only exists when we add items to the cart and when we load the cart from the local storage okay so immediately when the page loads the cart actually might have zero items in it because they haven't been loaded from local storage yet let's scroll down and look at that again so here you can see at the very bottom we have this load cart and then that gets the cart from local storage without this our cart will have zero items in it and that other you know console log message must be coming from here right let's put a let's put a little message here um, console dot log and we'll put some lines there right so we'll do a quick test here right now I've taken out load cart okay so let's see what happens without the load cart hmm so now it says display cart cart has zero items in it and then there's the cart with zero items right so what if we load the cart right so what's gonna happen is let me move this up and then when I you know display it here refresh it you can see this time you know we called display cart we counted the cart at that moment it had zero items and then down here it lo finally loads the cart from local storage and it's got seven items in it so the, the problem here is when we execute this display cart function right so since I'm executing it here on line 40 it happens before the um, before the code down here at line you know 147 that actually loads the cart from the local storage right so if I want to display my cart initially when the page is loaded I'll have to make sure that I call the display cart function at some point after I've loaded it from local storage okay so I'm gonna move that display cart method all the way down here it just has to go below this line okay right 
and then we'll we'll take a look. So let's try it again. Okay, oh look, so now we displayed the cart. It's got seven items in it. And then there it is, where I see it on the page. Okay. So uh so there's a little look at you know the mechanic of what's happening here. And we'll we'll get into some more details. I want to get into some discussion about how and why you know the thing displays the way that it does right you know let's talk about this output and jQuery HTML so I'll do that in the next video and thanks for watching